Hi there, my name's Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add two columns to a reference field on a form. This amazing enhancement only takes a few minutes to implement and provides a ton of value for anyone using the system. By having two columns displayed on a reference field, you're able to enter additional values to narrow down your search when trying to select a record in a reference field. Take for example, you're logging an incident on behalf of a user, and there's several users with the same name within your organization. By enabling an additional column, let's say email address in this example, you'd then be able to see their email address when selecting their name. This feature is especially useful when you're referencing a table that uses a non-unique display value and you'd like your users to easily identify the correct record they're looking for. Now that we've talked about the benefits of this enhancement, let's head over to the hardware asset form where we'll add an additional column to the parent field. As you can see in the parent field, when I enter Dell, only the asset's display name is displayed. As an asset manager, this list is not currently useful to me because I can't identify which asset I actually want to select. In order to add some uniqueness to these values, I'm going to add the serial number column as our second column to this reference field. To do this, right click on the parent field and click on configure dictionary. You'll now be taken to the dictionary entry record for the parent field on the asset form. The field we'll be working with today to add this additional column is the attributes field. If you can't see this field on the form, click on that advanced view UI action, which will be displayed underneath the related links section of this form. Now to add the additional column to this field, we'll want to start entering our attributes. The first one we want to add is ref underscore auto underscore completer equals ajax table completer. This attribute enables you to display the value column of the reference table being referenced and any additional columns listed. Next we're going to add ref underscore ac underscore columns equals serial underscore number. This attribute is adding the second column to the reference field, which in this instance is serial number. And then the final attribute we're going to add is ref underscore ac underscore columns underscore search equals true. This search attribute basically enables autocomplete to work with all fields being displayed in the reference field. Now that we've completed adding these attributes, click on the update button you'll now be taken back to the hardware asset form. You'll now notice if we enter Dell in the parent field, the serial number column is available and we can search against these values. And that is all for today's tutorial on how to display two columns in a reference field in ServiceNow.